Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and today I'm bringing you the review of the Shure MV88 iOS Digital Stereo Condenser Microphone. Before we get too deep into this thing, I'd like to thank Shure for providing me with the loaner for this video. Shure did not influence this video in any way, shape, or form, and did not tell me what to say in this video. So let's go ahead and get things cracking. The Shure MV88 is a durable, high-quality stereo condenser microphone made for use with your iOS devices running iOS 8.0 or later. This means that all you Android users won't be able to jump on this device right now, but maybe Shure will make an Android-compatible device in the future. As you may have seen in our unboxing video, the MV88 comes with a case, a windscreen, and a headphone adapter cable. The MV88 is housed in an all-metal casing and feels super durable in the hands. I'm confident that this device could fall from a pretty nice height and continue to do its job. There's a hinge on the device that allows you to rotate it up to 90 degrees. This allows you to adjust the mic to the ideal position for capturing audio. The bottom of the device has a lightning connector for iOS devices. This is an MFI or M5 certified device, so you won't receive any of those annoying messages saying that the device is not compatible when you connect it to your iPhone or iPad or your iPod Touch. The mid-side microphone element captures studio quality sound. With the help of the Shure Motive app, this mic is capable of recording uncompressed audio at up to 24 bits, 48 kilohertz. The windscreen fits all snug as a bug in a rug over the top of the MV88. It's great for eliminating unwanted sound such as pops or hisses when a person is speaking. If your headphone connection has a wide base, the MV88 may not be able to fit into your iPhone or iPod Touch alongside your headphones. This is where the included headphone adapter comes in handy. The adapter allows your headphones to be connected further away from the base of your iPhone or your iPod Touch, allowing for the MV88 and your headphones to exist together, side by side, in peace and harmony. What really makes the MV88 stand out in my opinion is the Motive app. This thing is a beast. You can easily view your audio levels, adjust the gain, and modify the stereo width on the fly. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, you might be a novice at this audio thing. Don't fret, cause sure has got your back with that. If you're a noob at recording audio, the Motive app hooks you up with several presets to help you capture audio in several situations. When you select the stereo pattern, you can choose between speech, singing, flat, acoustic, and band presets. Each preset optimizes settings for gain, stereo width, equalization, and compression for its specific situation. The app also allows you to select between four different polar patterns. The polar pattern you select determines how the mic picks up sound from different directions. This gives you more options to control how you record your audio. You can choose between stereo, monocardioid, mono bidirectional or raw mid-side polar patterns. Other functions such as wind noise reduction, left-right channel swap, an equalizer, a limiter which prevents audio clipping, and a compressor which reduces loud sounds and increases quiet sounds to normalize the volume all round out the wide array of features on this app. For the rest of the video, I'll be using audio that I recorded with the Shure MV88. Overall, I have to say that the Shure MV88 is a great buy. It has more features than you can shake a stick at, which gives it the flexibility to fit most shooting situations. Unfortunately, the lightning connector restricts its use to iOS devices. Also, the connection felt a little loose. I wish Shure would come up with some means to make it feel more secure so that you don't have to worry about it while shooting. All right, guys, that's it. Don't forget to check out our other unboxings and product reviews. Now that this review is over, get out of here and go watch something else.